to show you my favourite juice. It's a green juice. And with the green juice, I'm going to put in a little bit of cabbage. I know it's not green, but I just like one carrot in it. I'm going to put an apple because it just adds a little bit of sweetness. I like a bit of bang in mine, and so I put some chilli and some ginger, kale, Swiss chard, cucumber, parsley. The Oscar is one of the few juices available, if not the only one, that can actually juice parsley. So let's get going. I'm going to use the uh, juicing strainer, the fine juicing strainer with the os with the classic has more than one option. I'm going to use the fine one for this. And I'll set it onto three. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut my apple. And you know how long it takes to cut the apple. Less than 10 seconds. And it's all excellent size. Right, the carrot, again, the choice. The choice you have is either put it in like this. I find that if I just slice it on the side, like this, very quickly, um, it goes through all by itself. So let's get going there. There we go. You see that how the carrot runs through? Fantastic. Same thing with the celery. You can put it through as a whole piece, which I'm going to show you, and you can put it through like this. If you put it through like this, it will also self feed. And of course, you can use a pusher. I'm going to use the pressure. Oh, I always put a whole, at least one lemon in, sometimes two. Depends on how juicy they are. What the lemon does is it cuts the, that sort of green flavor. And a little bit of apple just gives it that little bit of sweetness. Look, if people are on a really stringent diet, um, then definitely the apple and the carrot would not be included in this green juice. But since I've been kind of doing this healthy book now for kind of most of my life, I mean, I wouldn't like to tell you how many years it is. You know, this would be a woman's prerogative to hang on to her age. So there's the carrot again. We've got throwing the bits in. Here's us. Parsley and some cucumber. Cabbage, cabbage is excellent, absolutely the most excellent food you could eat. I'm putting a little cabbage in. The other cabbage is quite strong in flavour. Ginger, the rest of the parsley, uh, another video I'm going to show you how, how quick it is to, to clean an Alaska. It's just really incredibly simple to clean, it takes very, very little time. And that's something that a centrifugal juicer is a nightmare to clean. And the reason a lot of people, after they've bought centrifugal juicers, often kind of shove them back in the cupboard and don't use them is because of the cleaning episode. Right, now we get to these leaves. Now, leaves. Again, centrifugal juicers do not juice leaves very successfully. Some of them don't juice them at all. And just look at this, how it just pulls this through. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And this is all organic. Swiss chard. 
Mountain, which is also called, um, called spinach in South Africa, but in actual fact it's Swiss chard. This is some kale also from organically grown from my garden. And I like to, in this one, I like to just break the top and send the tough, there's a pretty tough stem on that. Send that through. as easily on the adjustable one, you just release it back a little bit down to a two and, and you'll find that uh, especially with the cucumber, cucumber is, is quite moist and um, needs to be able to uh, move through quite easily which it doesn't if it's on a very tight number four or five. Seven. Self-feeding again. oxidation because it's just been crushed out very very slowly but you know that the sort of overall time is not a long time to get such a perfect juice some people prefer not to have any of the pulp inside and um, in this particular instance I've kept the pulp in but I'll show you what it's like when you take the pulp out okay so here I have a, a strainer and I just want to strain some of the, the juice. Uh, I particularly prefer the juice to be to be strained and you'll see how little there is in terms of pulp. So I like it to be absolutely absolutely smooth. And if you're feeding this to babies you dilute it and you would also then strain it. And this is a very fine strainer, which means that any, any kind of leftovers, any sort of pulp that there was, would be left. And this is... Okay. That's all I've got. That's all there is. Yeah, that's all there is. That tiny little bit. You squeeze it, still more liquid comes out. Okay. So, let's, I don't know if I can pour it into here. I might just spill a bunch of it. Let's hope I don't. This is uh, like gold. There we go. That's the strained one. Thanks for watching.